Hey everybody, this is Colton with POSGuys.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the MPOP cache drawer from Star Micronics. Uh, this is a very unique drawer as far as they go. Uh, this is one of the only ones that I know that has both the cache drawer and a receipt printer built in, plus it has a bunch of extra peripheral hub ports for things like barcode scanners, tablets, customer facing displays. Uh, so it's just overall a really packed unit here. Um, this would be good for somebody, uh, you know, where space, counter space in particular is a premium. So think of like pop-up shops, uh, food trucks, or small boutique stores where you're going to be handling some cash, but not a lot, but still want a safe and secure place to hold it all while still maintaining a pretty sleek and streamlined design. So we're going to break down each part of this drawer, starting with the uh, actual cash drawer itself. Then we'll take a look at the receipt printer. Uh, and then we'll take a couple of minutes to take a look at all the different little bits that kind of make this a holistic solution. So with that, I'm going to zoom us on in and uh, let's get started. So first, let's cover uh, the easy parts here. Uh, this is a 12 inch by 12 inch wide cache drawer. It's about four inches tall here. Uh, it's going to come in both black and white. Here I have the white version, of course, but I'll throw some B-roll footage of the black version so you can kind of take a look and see what it looks like. Um, there's a couple different buttons on the bottom or on the sides, uh, but just looking at the top here, there's a little uh, LED blue light here. And there's a couple other ones. Those are just to give you status indications. But now let's look at the uh, you know main part of the cash drawer here, the actual drawer itself. So popping it open here, and I'll spin you around to the top view so you can get a better look at this here. Uh, you're gonna see that it's a bit of a unique cash drawer setup here. You're gonna have a four bill, four coin slot, though they do make uh, optional little bars here that can make this into a six coin slot. I just have it set up in the four by four configuration for now. Uh, and you kind of have these two different double decker layers here that slide back and forth. Um, you're gonna have the metal spring loaded clamps. So, you know, no plastic on here, at least on the tills. Um, so that's pretty nice to see. Uh, this setup is a big improvement from the older version of this drawer. They, uh, Star Micronics had released one a couple years ago that had vertical bill slots. And I'll throw a photo that I could find uh, on the screen now. And we got a lot of feedback from customers that just said they had a really hard time, uh, you know, picking up the bills uh, just because of that vertical kind of configuration it had. So this is a big improvement. Of course, you are only getting four bill slots. So anything high volume, this might not be the best solution for you, but you know, you're gonna be able to get your ones, fives, uh, tens or twenties, and then everything else in the uh, final one here. Um, I One thing that I would like to note about this drawer is that it does seem a little loose and you'll find that's the same thing I have for the cash drawer here. Um, not that it like doesn't come out at all, but I would just be really worried if this was out and then bumping into it and you uh, bend or warp something on this side and all of a sudden the whole drawer is out. Uh, so that's the only, that's one of the big kind of concerns that I would have about using this drawer. But it, you know, if you're not in a super fast paced setting, you know, this might be a good option there and this might not be something that you have to worry about. So we're gonna go ahead, close that up. And we're gonna take a look at the second part of the drawer here. So taking a look at the printer here, uh, it's super easy to access. All you have to do is push the button in or push the little mechanism in, pops right out. There's a little blue switch here. Uh, if you were to pull this up, there we go. It'll pop out and you can see that the paper is right here. Uh, it's a super simple to load. All you have to do is drop in and it'll get, be ready to go. Uh, the only thing to, one big thing to note here is that this printer supports two inch wide receipt paper as opposed to the standard three. So if you close that, you'll see that it pops out the little slip there and even has a little auto cutter on that. So look at that, real nice and cute that way. Um, as a note, as I was about to say before I uh, got interrupted by that, uh, it's two inch wide printing as opposed to the standard three inch wide. So, you know, if you're used to the three inch wide paper and you're looking to make the move down to two, this might be a good option for you. Um, Print speed wise, it's going to print at about 100 millimeters per second. To put that in perspective, the STARS entry level printer, the TSP100, prints at about 203 millimeters per second, and that's pretty industry standard. So this is going to half that. Um, so definitely get used to a little bit of a slower print speed on that. But if you're using this in a little bit of a lower volume setting, uh, which, you know, the cash drawer would kind of lend itself to, uh, you're going to be just fine. Uh, the I have a similar complaint 
with this as I do to the caster, then that when it's all the way out, it does feel a little wobbly and I would be worried about, you know, someone knocking into it. Uh, if I had a bunch of these to burn through, I'd probably do a stress test, uh, but this is the only one I have uh, and I would uh, be in a lot of trouble if I broke it. So I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing to keep an eye out for. If you're running in a super busy food truck or something like that and people are moving back and forth, um, that might be a concern that you'll need to look at and weigh in if you're considering this drawer. Uh, but overall, it's super compact and I really like how they've integrated everything. So, you know, you're not going to have a bunch of different stuff all over the place. Speaking of integrations, I think right now is a good time to pull the drawer up and start to unpack that a little bit. So popping it on up here, uh, first thing you're going to see if we peek over here and I'll try to zoom the camera in here and if I can't get a good angle here I'll throw some b-roll footage up. Uh, but you're going to have the power supply on the bottom here uh, and that's going to run out standard wall outlet plug-in, super simple. You're going to have uh, one USB-A port here and that's right now that's being connected to the, cache, or to the barcode scanner. You're going to have a USB-B port so if you wanted to connect another receipt printer or something like that you definitely could do that with this um, and then there is the um, micro USB-C right here uh, you can connect either the iPad or an Android device to that uh, you can also connect it to a Windows device so you're gonna get compatibility for all three of those uh, one thing to note this doesn't have an Ethernet port and another big note, I know I said one, but there's two, uh, and the second one is arguably the biggest, uh, is the lack of Bluetooth on this unit. Now, the previous version of this drawer did have a Bluetooth model, uh, and Star discontinued that model when uh, there was a lot of supply chain issues, and they re-released it without the Bluetooth model, but they uh, have told me that there are plans to release the Bluetooth version eventually. So if you're interested in the drawer but need that Bluetooth connection, don't worry, it's coming. It might just take a little bit. They're waiting for the supply chains to stabilize out uh, so that they can ensure that they can actually send out units because the world is a wild, wild place right now. Um, taking a look here, um, there was a separate little mount at the bottom there. I'll pull this back one more time up. You'll see that there's a little, um, little area right here. Uh, and that's going to be used to do a little under counter mount. So you're going to get shipped some extra little things. You're going to get a little mounting template, um, a little under counter mount here, uh, and then the mount itself. There's a 3M strip, but it does also have uh, some screw holes. You can screw that into your counter or stick it to your counter, hook it in the bottom here, and then uh, no one can just come up and pull your drawer up uh, and run with it that way. Uh, there is an under counter mount that Star makes for this drawer, and it is also Kensington Lock compatible. Uh, so when you have the actual tablet up, you know, you don't have to worry. So you have a couple different mounting options if you want to kind of secure up the unit a little bit more. And I think it's important to highlight all the different peripheral options that are available on this drawer because uh, they all communicate with each other, right? Everything, all the communication kind of gets ported into one stream, so to speak, so that uh, an app can kind of all look at one place. So to give a good example of that here, if I pull up uh, the tablet here and pull out the barcode scanner um, and I have the printer setup utility that Star has up right now so you can take a look. Um, if we were to go to the barcode reader section here uh, and take a little roll of labels, give it a scan, you'll see that they all poured in like that. Uh, and from the same app you could uh, control the printing of the receipt. Uh, so if we do a printer test, Give a nice little printer. There you go. And then we could also trigger the cash drawer. Now, theoretically, any app could do this all from one from one thing. It just needs to be custom coded. If you're a software developer and this is something that you're interested in, definitely give us a call and we can get you connected with the people at Star that can help you out. And the final thing that I wanted to highlight today is the actual tablet holder here. You know, the brains of the operation, so to speak, need something to stand on. Uh, so by default, you're going to ship here with this little um, plastic place here. This will be in black if you order the black unit, of course. Uh, it has these little friction pads here on the bottom and then has some little friction pads on the top. Um, and I think they do a pretty decent job. Uh, you kind of have two different settings here. You kind of have a low profile setting um, if you flip it on this side. And if you put a little bit of pressure on here, and I know it's hard for you to kind of get an idea of how hard I'm pushing, but it seems to do a pretty good job of not moving around. 
Uh, there is also a more high angled option. So you gotta have two different options there, right? Kind of depending on your uh, viewing angle preference. So I think it's pretty nice. I would be worried about just leaving it out like this. So, you know, someone could just come up and run and take your iPad and now you're out of operation for a little while. But thankfully Star does sell their own uh, kind of secured lock system called the Emunite. And I'll throw a photo up on it right here. We sell that as well. So if you're interested, give us a call. Um, but if you don't want to use something like that, it is Kensington lock compatible. So you could, you know, lock and hold the device that way. And there's also a bunch of, um, you know, third party stands that'll do just fine. I mean, it's literally just a flat base. So options are endless. There's nothing super proprietary about it. So if you have a preferred stand, you're fine. Don't even need to worry about it. Uh, but with that, that is going to cap off this review. If you're interested in getting a little more information or potentially picking up the unit for yourself, feel free to give us a call or an email. Both of those are on the screen now. Uh, and with that, thank you all so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.